thing you have to look at today is reputational due diligence. It helps family offices identify potential operational issues, management deficiencies, regulatory violations, or ethical lapses. What we've seen in the last couple of years is a lot of high lucrative industries, companies collapsing or having issues, not because there was a financial fraud or poor internal controls. It was really the actions of the CEO or somebody in the C-suite with personnel undisclosed affairs, other things that have been going on. So you do have that to deal with. That'll also undercut the value of the company because it also goes to the culture of the management. So you, that's one thing you really need to look at. The other thing is, is that you have to constantly update your own due diligence because things do evolve. They do change. We do have AI now. And one of the ways you know, really to do that is to talk with merger and acquisition firms, investment banking firms about what they're seeing in due diligence and really just doing your homework to see how things are evolving and what they're seeing and how they're looking at things. And that will really help the family office. And when family offices are investing, like you'll say in startups, you got to remember startups and due diligence, you're really betting on the management team because you don't have a long track history. So you need to adjust you know, your due diligence in each one of those cases and make sure it's the right team, it's the right product or right technology. So what I would say is that you need to have a robust system in place. You probably are not going to have all the talent in the family office. You're going to need to rely on third parties and you need to focus in on that. The next one I would really say on due diligence is it's the family's due diligence, the family office. How are you perceived in the business community? Not only just as the family office, but how are you perceived by the portfolio companies that you've purchased? And are other portfolio companies willing to have you invest in them? So the reputation of due diligence is really 360. It's not only the companies that you're investing in, not only the executives, but it's also the family office and how they conduct themselves. And I think that if you do all of that well, it'll that just become your culture and second nature. And that's really the best way to deal with due diligence, both inward and outward. 